Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and we have Jennifer Walker with us. We have been doing the session on tarot, and if you have not watched the part one, then please go and watch it. And now she is going to continue with the numbers. All right. So I'm very excited. Please. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to briefly go over a couple of the numbers. So obviously in tarot, you have uh, the numbers 1 through 10. All right. In order to really uh, get a great, greater understanding of what's going on, you have to understand the numerology because um, you could have a card in front of you and some card decks, uh, they don't really have any imagery on them. They All they have is the numbers. Or you could use uh, playing cards uh, to do a reading. If you knew the numerology, if you knew the numerology and the meaning of that number, you can, you can use playing cards to do it. So let's jump into this right now and talk about it. All right. So we have the wands. So as I, I discussed before, you have the cups, you have the wands, you have the swords and you have the pentacles. What is a one? One is the seed. It's the beginning. Whenever you think about anything, always bring it back to the simplest terms when it comes to, you know, learning anything or grasping anything, because if you make it concrete and you make it real world, it'll help you remember what you're dealing with so that you don't feel like it's so abstract that you can't grasp onto it. So each one of these is an ace, ace of cups, ace of wands, ace of swords, and the Ace of Pentacles, which is one. So let's go over what each one of these is just for the ones. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. So it is a potential for great love. If you get this in a love rating, it's great potential. It's great potential, compassion, love. It's almost like if you look at this, it's like a hand coming down, like the God hand coming down, like offering you here, <laughs> take this cup. <laughs> so it is uh, in a relationship reading one of one of the best things you can get. This is like the best one of the best news. Okay, so then we have the Ace of uh, Wands. Now this is to do with wands or to do with passion, creativity, as we have spoken before, and with the elements, passion, creativity, willpower. So whatever those your willpower is, your passions are. This is a great potential for that. So if you're going into something creative or you want to bring your will forward, this has a great potential to succeed because, you know, you got the Ace of Wands. Then you have the Ace of Swords. Now, what, are, what, is, what did we say with the, the whole element of um, sword energy or air energy? They're about intelligence. It's about communication. It's about anything to do with speaking, intelligence, communication. It's quick moving. So let's say um, someone in your life stopped talking to you, all right? And then you get the Ace of Swords. That's a good sign. It means there could be a potential for someone to communicate with you. Um, let's say you are uh, dealing with something and you're kind of confused about what to do. And then you get the Ace of Swords. You're going to get that mental clarity. It's going to come into play for you because that's 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 something that's going to happen. It's just going to just magically get there. You're going to get it. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. And as we said before, with the Earth, it's something tangible. So in a relationship reading, if you get this, it means someone's going to has potential to offer you an engagement ring or flowers, something that you can hold and you can touch. There's potential for it. All right. So let's go over the key word terms that you want to remember for the ones. So remember seed. Think about a plant, all right? When a plant grows, it starts as a seed. It's the potential for something. It's a potential for a plant. It's not a plant yet. It's just the potential for it. That's why I think seed is the best word for ones. It's a potential energy, a new beginning, uh, something that you're doing that's pioneer. So like maybe you... Uh, we're thinking about an invention. So something along those lines, when thinking about something that's brand new, that nobody's ever heard of. It's also independence, you know, numerology. What is, what is one? It's, it's leadership. It's taking charge. It's driving forward. You as yourself going forward with it, right? 
All right, so now we're gonna go into the twos. So we have the two of cups, we have the two of wands, we have the two of swords, and we have the two of pentacles. So let me ask you, what do you think this card says to you when you look at these two people here standing together? What do you think that means? If I say choice, right? What do you think just from looking at the card? Mm, I think they are going into some kind of agreement or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I think it's like they are feeling that we can individually do good. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's something which we can do better if you are together because there's some eagle I see at the top mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or some kind of a bird it is. So mm -hmm. I think they are like, okay, there's something higher which we can achieve if we are together. So mm -hmm. maybe we can do things together. Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing I want you to take a note of is, all right, we have a female. So what do we know about water? Anything we know about water. So we, we have a balance of the water element. Mm -hmm. And we have a male here. So this is the, the, the primordial female, the primordial male coming together. And if you look at the caduceus wand here, they're intertwined. There's a balance to it. There's a connection between it. It's complete balance between the two. And it's a great card to get in the love reading as well, the two of cups. Obviously, because we have a couple on the card, <laughs> which are balanced. And are, this is when you're like together with a person and you just don't want to separate from them. You just want to be together all the time, constantly, right? That's the two of cups. So then we come to the two of wands. This person is by himself. And of course, we're going to go into colors next, but... Wands are what? Passions? They're drives? What does he have? He has a world in his hand. So he's some kind of passion. He wants to go out into the world and he's trying to make a choice between two things. But he's decided to take the choice, right? He's decided to take the world in his hand and go that direction because he's picked this wand here. All right. So that's pretty much how you would do it if you were looking at the pictures and you want to go by the meaning of choice with the twos. All right, so we go to the two of swords. What is what is what did we talk about as far as the element of swords? The element of swords is air. So air is all about intelligence. It's about mental. It's about thinking. It's about communication. So obviously, this person only has one person on the card. There's one person on the card, and they're blindfolded. So they're in their head. They're in their head, and they're thinking about a choice. That's how you would interpret it. And then if you go by the colors of the card and the fact that there's a moon in the card, they're trying to use their intuition, right? With the moon there. Uh, but they are confused. If you look at the gray color there, there's a confusion in this person. They are obstructed in what they want to do. So that's kind of what that card means. There's a choice to be made, but there's a confusion there. All right, so then we have the two of pentacles. And what is the first thing you want to notice in this card with the two? There is a choice. There's two things here. There's a choice to be made. But if we look in the background of this picture, there is waves going on. There is something that's not quite right, right? There's this, the ship's about to like, you know, <laughs> pretty much like it's not stable. It's not stable water. It's something shaky. There's something out of balance. The man is standing on one foot and he has one foot in the air. He's juggling these two coins. He's juggling his time. He's juggling what's going on with his task and his money. Maybe there's, maybe he wants to do something uh, like that's fun, but he can't because he has to go also juggle work. So he has to do a work-life balance between the two. So now we're going to go into the definitions of the two, as we talked about. So there's choices. In some certain some circumstances, depending on the card surrounding it, there's balance. There's a partnership. So let's say you are getting into a business and you're wondering, okay, am I going to get a partnership? Is, is, is somebody going to come along and help me out with this? And you get something along the lines with the twos, then you know that there's going to be a partnership, right? 
or um, and then also a master of compromise. So like we saw with the two of cups, there's two people coming together. The elements are balanced. There's a compromise there. There is a balance and a compromise between those two elements. So that's a good thing. So now we're going to go on to the threes. <laughs> so we have um, the threes. And what are the threes all about? The, the threes are about building things together to get to that stable point. So you got to work together with people to do that. You got to be on a team. So the key term for this is build. And also the three of cups, I may note in a reading, a lot of times this will represent a celebration with people. This can represent friends because we need friends to build things, right? We can't just do stuff on our own by ourselves. So in some certain circumstances, this is, this is a friendship kind of thing coming together. As long as the card interprets it that way, though, because we see that there is a situation here where this person's by themselves. But the threes always mean building teamwork, creativity. Okay. I want to be clear about that. Threes always mean building creativity. <laughs> All right. So we got the three of cups. This is friends coming together. Maybe they're drinking. Maybe they're hanging out. Maybe they're just celebrating something. And we have the three of wands, right? So what do you think about the three of wands? Let me ask you a question. What do you think about the three of wands? What do you see from this card? What do you think is going on? If this person is building something, what do you think is going on? What do you think he's doing? Mm. It means building, creating. Yeah, I, I see that he's building something, but uh, I think that he's thinking there's a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Exactly. He's so waiting for his ship. He's exactly to frustrated, I would say, but he's like kind of, I would say he's like, He's working at the same time. He's thinking there's a long way to go, and uh, he's looking forward. So he's like thinking maybe that I have built this much. Maybe I will build whatever is there ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, this card is actually known in a reading as waiting for someone's ships to come in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that makes sense to you. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. <You're helping. laughs> He's waiting for that next stick to come in so he can like, all right, let me put this down. <laughs> Get this done. Oh, man, the three of swords. I know that this card looks bad, but if we interpret it just by the three. So let's say we didn't have a picture here. We just had the three of swords. Um, this would still be, you'd be thinking about building things together, coming together, using your intelligence, you know. Even though, uh, you know, with this right or wait, we have the three of swords and we have a heart going, you know, here and we have swords stabbing it. Obviously it's not a good card to get it from the love reading. But <laughs> um, we always want to keep in mind that the general meaning of three is creating, building, uh, bringing things together to make things stable. And then you bring in the elements into it where it's, uh, you know, cups is using your emotions to build, to create. And then you have the wands, you're using your passions, you're using your creativity to build and create. And then you, with the three, you're using your intelligence, your communication to build and create. And then you have the three of pentacles. And you can see these people are building, actually, in this card, they're building some kind of church or something. They're working together. So in that sense, you're actually building something solid, right? Something tangible. Always think about, go back to earth. And think about, okay, now I'm building something solid and tangible and I'm working together and doing that and actually physically manifesting that thing into reality now instead of just theorizing about it. So what is threes? I'll remember, always remember the keyword build, teamwork, creation. It's the trinity. It's the mind, the body, and the spirit. It's the source of inspiration, okay? I don't know. Is that clear to you as far as like, do you want me to go more in depth with this about it? Or do you, you feel pretty clear about it as well? Since you're listening to me. Well, All right. Well, just, if you want, you can explain some more, I guess. Okay. We can just move on. We can move on. Move on. Okay. All right. So we have the fours. So when moving forward, this is why I like to go over the elements first. Always keep in mind the elements when going through each one, and then you combine the elements into the numbers. 
So what is four? Is four is our stability, stability, stable. Um, so basically, when you look at this person, this is to do with emotions. This person is filled, basically. They, they have everything that they want emotionally. They are filled to the brim. <laughs> they don't need anything more. So when spirit's like, hey, take this cup. Hey, don't you want this cup? They're like, no, I don't really need it right now. Sorry, I'm, I'm good. I, I'm fulfilled emotionally. I'm happy. I'm content. I don't need anything else. I'm fine. So the four is stable. So he's good. He's content. He's good. So then we have the four of wands. Now, remember the other guy, he was like sitting there waiting and he's like waiting for his other ship to come in so he can put this staff down so he can build his foundation where now we have the four of wands here and it's stable. You know, it's stable enough to be able to hang something on it. It's, it's built, you know, people are celebrating. Oh, wow. It's up. It's, it's, it's ready to go. It's stable. And then you have the four of swords and always keep in mind this has to do with passions. This has to do with um, drive, willpower, creativity, okay? Always to do with emotions. So whenever you interpret the card, you think about that too going forward. And then this guy, what's he doing? You got the four of swords. So he has all of the things that he needed mentally to make him stable, to think about things, to contemplate because he's laying there and he's contemplating, he's thinking, he's meditating, because that's what this card means. He's really doing a lot of thinking, but he has all of the swords in place to bring this about. And then we have this four of coins, which is obviously someone who is hoarding all their money because <laughs> they literally are like stepping on their coins and like holding in their hands. But um, this is also means that they have everything that they need money wise. And now they're like, well, I'm, I've got all this stability. I'm, I'm tangibly holding on to my money. Now things are built, things are stable for me. And now I want to hold on to it. I want to save it. So let's talk about it. The, the, the keywords you want to watch out for, right. Or think about, so it's stable. You want to think about established system, any kind of structure, uh, you know, government, think about those kind of things. Um, housing, like when you put a foundation down for a house, uh, order, structure, rules, um, any kind of things like that, that would be considered anything to do with structure, order, and the fours. So that would be a conclusion because um, I think if I drag this out any longer with any more numbers, <laughs> it'd be too, too long. But so that is my conclusion for uh, the numbers. Mm. So we have more slides later, I guess. Yes, we have more okay. slides. <laughs> so we'll uh, pause this here and we will do the next slides in the next part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let me get some cards ready for the next one. Okay, so thank, thank you very much for your patience and please wait till I upload the next video, okay? Until next okay. time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me...